Alrighty, so there's the newest water slide here at Aquatica. We're gonna go in there and take a look, and maybe ask a couple people, see what they thought of it. So this is Ihua's Breakaway Falls, Texas tallest, newest tallest water slide. So there it is. Looks kind of fun, but let's get a little closer look. We'll go inside and take a peek. And there's Turtle Reef, which will be opening up in May. Can't wait to see that one. It looks like they uh, posted a video the other day. They did get the turtles in already. So, let's just go on inside. From this viewpoint, it's pretty high. I'm not gonna swim today, but let's just go inside and take a look. See if there's any new changes or any new features or any kind of upgrades or anything we didn't know for the 2019 Aquatica season. So, follow me inside, folks, and let's go for a little splish and splash and let's take a ride. It's pretty quiet right now. That's the kind of day I like. I Maybe mean, I should come back with my son. It's kind of a warm day. It's supposed to be in the 80s. But that water's got to be cold, though. It's right by Stingray Falls. Got to be 48 inches tall. So yeah, a lot of kids like to sneak up up here and they're going to have to be turned around. That's a bummer. That is pretty tall though, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Looks like you go go fast. Wow, let me go up here. Check it out for you guys. See if I lose some weight, be out of breath in no time. Woo. How's it going? All right, how are you? Good. Good, good. Oh, Lordy, Brian from Squiggly Lady. He out of shape. Oh, I can feel the burn. I'm out of shape for him. Any kind of season right now. There's a nice view of the park. So I got a couple more steps to go up. And there's uh, SeaWorld itself. This is where you look like you're gonna exit. <laughs> These are those ones, man. I tell you, that water gets up in your nose. You're like, whoa. It says they stay to the right. Blue or orange, stay to the left, quick cue, and plummet. So I don't know if there's two different, or I guess there's different versions of it, like a faster version, a slower version. Hey, how you doing? And then these are like the tunnels. You got a blaster. I don't know about that. And all the lifeguards ready to shoot down to save you. All right, well, yeah, it looks kind of fun. Trying to get some exercise and work my way down. I never had those before. <laughs> this is gonna be totally fun. I guess you gotta be here first come, first serve. This is generally the area I like to hang out. All right, well, let's keep looking around. All righty, well, this is just gonna be a quick, short video, folks. Hopefully you guys like it, but yes, this is the newest one. I should have brought my GoPro. Uh, that's waterproof, and I should have came prepared in, in my swim gear. Uh, but I gotta lose like 100 pounds or so. No, I'm kidding. But um, I might come back tonight and uh, bring the GoPro or my waterproof camera and give this a shot. Not too many people riding it right now, but yeah, it's over here right by the Lazy River or Loggerhead Lane. Yeah, so right there. 
Not much change over here. It looks generally the same. Nothing's changed here. Now we're entering Kata's Kookaburro Cove. This is one area I would have really liked them to improve in. Um, somehow expand it, but it just gets really crowded. There's a lot of extra little space right here. I think that SeaWorld could look into and redeveloping and expanding this bit. I'm not really sure what's behind over there, um, but that would be a, 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 a huge plus maybe in the future of SeaWorld San Antonio. So something to reconsider. Um, a lot of babies do show up. They could clear this out and expand it. But that's something I would like to see in the future. Not that my opinion really matters, but I'm sure um, other people would like to see that too. A little change up here in the baby area. And once again, throughout the park in different locations, they have all these new little canopies. These are really nice to have, especially in the high Texas sun. So here's one of uh, our favorite areas to play in. Even as an adult, you could just sit here and chill out under that waterfall. It's quite fun. Now one of my biggest disappointments in regards to the wave pool, and I get it, you know, safety, in, in regards to safety and things like that, kids um, getting swept under with the undertow, kind of, so to speak, when the waves come on. But they used to allow you to float all throughout here. I used to actually just put on a life vest for no reason. Just lay there and float and absolutely just relax. But now you can't cross this line. It's been that way all last year. You know, I get the, the safety, you know, parents need to be a little more responsible with their children and their swimming capabilities. But that's kind of a bummer because you can't go past that now. So all this now is a waste of space where, you know, it gets really congested and packed over there behind that line. So that's a bummer, but it is what it is. I'm, I really miss swimming right here and just doing absolutely nothing. Oh, there's a spider on my finger. Twister and uh, hoo -hoo, run. It's always fun to go on this too. So we have the Tomata Racer. Should be called the Traumatic Racer. It's funny, man. This is a fun ride, but God, that water gets up in your face. Come